weddings and all kinds of things like that. You know, that brings up a, another thing. A lot of people ask us what we do with all these paintings that we do on TV. Uh, most of them are used to go into the books that we do, but all the rest of them we donate. We donate them to PBS stations all around the country and to charity organizations for them to make a happy buck with. So if you would like to have one, one of the easiest ways to get it is to call your PBS station and say, hey, you know, get one of Bob's paintings for your next auction. And we'll be glad to donate one to him. And it helps everybody out. You get better programming that way in the PBS station. He puts a happy buck in his pocket. And you get a, you get a painting. So keep that in mind if you want one. Just let your station know. Just drop in a few little blue and white grassy areas here. All kinds of little things going on in here. All kinds of little things. Now then, I tell you what, let's use a knife. Maybe there's what remains. There is an old fence right here. There's a post. Put one there. Tell you what, three. Three looks better. A little bit of brown and white for some highlight. Doop, doop. There we go. Maybe there's still one old, one old post that's hanging across there. Just like that. That easy. Okay, let's have some fun. Let me get an old fan brush here. Go right into the Van Dyke Brown. A little dark sienna. I think, uh, yep. Look at there. Big old tree. Big old tree. I put a big tree in a painting one time and the lady screamed at me. Absolutely screamed at me. So if you don't want a big tree in your painting, don't put one in there and then scream at me. This is your world, so you do whatever you want in your painting. Okay, now then I'll take the liner brush, a little bit of liquid black, and we'll just put the indication of a few old limbs here and there. Now, sometimes I add a little paint thinner to the liquid black to make it really flow easy. Just let it go. Just let it really work right off your brush. Come right on around there. Look at there. See? And have some of these limbs that go up and across the tree. Don't have them all just going out the side. See, and you can put all kinds of little tiny things in there just by stroking the canvas. Can you see that? Mm. Just get sort of crazy and let them go. There. Now, then, I'm going to take the knife and a little bit of white, a little brown. Let's put a little touch of highlight on this tree. There, it's barely touch. Give it a little pull. Just let the paint grab. This is a thick, thick paint. So it'll grab and hang on. There, maybe this one comes right down in front. Like okay. that. See there? You can just make all the trees you want in your world. Okay, now then, take the old fan brush and put a little snow down here on his foots. Gotta take care of his old foots, big foots. Take the liner brush, put a little liquid white, and just lay on a little highlight here and there to create the illusion of a little snow. And I think with that, we don't have a finished painting. So let's take a little bit of the bright red, liner brush, and we'll sign this one. The old clock on the wall tells me I got to leave you for today, but I'll be back next time. Hope you have your easel set up, glass of tea, and you're all ready. Until then, happy painting. God bless.